Have you experienced looking at the sky at a cloud last night? Try it and you will be amazed by the different celestial bodies that you will find. Let's start by understanding the minor celestial bodies that affect our lives on Earth. It is believed that comets, meteors, and asteroids are considered as remains from the formation of solar system billions of years ago. These other heavenly bodies remain small chunks of ice, rocks, and metals that serve as fossil record of evolution of planet in the solar system. Comets Comets are believed to be a symbol and harbinger of bad luck. Old folks believe that it is a sign of famine, war, and death. But what is a comet? Comets are heavenly bodies that orbit the sun just like the planets in the solar system. They are made up of frozen gases, rocks, and dust. As a comet travels the outer space and its orbit becomes closer to the sun, it released gases and dust that remarkably form a glowing head where its size is considerably bigger than some planets. As the comet further travels the solar system, its dust and gaseous part form a tail that points away the sun with millions of miles distance. Gerard Kuiper, in 1951, proposed that comets are usually found beyond Neptune's orbit. Comets that are known are usually observed near Pluto or those closer from Kuiper Belt, while much less has been seen from a space farther from the solar system or known as Oort Cloud. Although comets' damage to Earth is most likely more destructive, this catastrophic event is seldom to happen since most of these comets exist beyond solar system. Comets are either classified as short-period or long-period comets. Short-period comets usually complete their one trip around the sun for less than 200 years. While those long-period comets that exist in a region called Oort Cloud, 100,000 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun usually took 30 million years to complete one trip around the Sun. The most famous comet is known as Halley's Comet. This comet is visible from our planet every 76 years. Its last appearance was recorded in 1986. Have you heard your Lola or aunt saying, make a wish when you see a falling star at night? Do you believe that your wishes can come true? What is a falling star? Well, let's find out. A meteoroid is a stony or metallic object found in a space. They travel around the sun in different directions orbits, and speed. When a meteoroid enters the Earth's atmosphere, friction between this object and atmospheric gases hits it to the point that it glows and becomes visible to our eyes for a few seconds. The streak of light in the sky is known as meteors, commonly known as the falling star or the shooting star. If a meteor does not burn up completely, the remaining portion falls to Earth. Most of them are small and pose no threat. Also, most space debris fall over ocean and sparsely populated areas like Antarctica. A meteor that hits the Earth's surface is called meteorite. A meteor shower is a phenomenon in which many meteors fall through the atmosphere in a relative short time in approximately parallel trajectories. It happens when the Earth passes through a comet's orbit and leftover comet debris bombard Earth. 
A very intense meteor shower is called meteor storm. Asteroids Asteroids are rocky bodies or objects that orbit the sun the same way other planets orbit. They are the leftovers during the formation of universe. We cannot see them in the sky because they reflect little light and always on the move. Asteroids don't have their own atmosphere. Asteroids vary in size and shape. Some are 100 miles in diameter and some are small as a pebble. They are smaller than planets, that is why they are often called planetoids or minor planets. The largest asteroid recorded is Ceres, with 974 km in diameter. Ceres is also classified as a dwarf planet. The smallest asteroid is 6 foot wide. Most of the asteroids that orbit the Sun is found in the region called the Asteroid Belt. It is located between Mars and Jupiter. Asteroids orbit a slightly elliptical path as they orbit the Sun. It is possible for an asteroid to be pulled out of its orbit. Why? Because planet may capture an asteroid out of its orbit due to the pull of gravity. Asteroids can become a moon or satellites of a planet. Many scientists believe that Mars Moon, Phobos, and Deimos are captured asteroids. Is it possible for an asteroid to hit other planets, especially the Earth? The answer is yes. But the possibility is very small. Remember that asteroids are found in the region called Asteroid Belt. Since asteroids are near to Jupiter than the Sun, Jupiter exerts more gravitational force than the Sun, therefore it will not be going out of its orbit and away from inner planets like Earth. Did you know that asteroids are named using numbers? Example is asteroid 17437. On the other hand, some asteroids are named from people. Example is Freddie Mercury, a rock icon vocalist from the band Queen. Some asteroids' name is more peculiar like Spock that comes from a cat pet from the movie Star Trek. According to National Aeronautics and Space Administration or NASA, there are 958,344 known asteroids while 3,634 known comets. Accordingly, there are more than 100 tons of particles as same size of sand that bombarded our planet every day. In addition, an asteroid as big as an automobile usually hit Earth's atmosphere once a year. While record shows that a space rock as large as football field hits our planet every 2,000 years, which cause damage to the area. Craters serve as evidence that these space rocks cause damage as observed in Moon's surface and other planets in the solar system. South Pole 8Ken or SPA is considered as largest crater in the moon with a diameter of 2,500 kilometers and 13 kilometers deep which is said to be 5 times bigger than the island of Hawaii.